All right, so we're going to do a pod review today on the pepper right over here. And this is called the Peter Pepper Orange. Now, I have Peter Pepper Yellow, Peter Pepper Orange. I haven't had any luck with Peter Pepper Red, probably because I couldn't get good viable seed for it. But this is the Peter Pepper Orange. And you can see there's some quite beautiful green ones on here. Really crazy looking shapes that have come off this particular variety. Some of the pods off the Peter has gotten extremely large this year. Much larger than last year. We've got one that's ripe here. There's a little spider web on it. A little nastiness. And that's it right there. I'm going to rinse this off before even an earwig living in between there. Making a home out of that. That's okay. We're going to rinse this off. And that is the look at the orange Peter. Look at that, guys. The orange Peter. Now, you know why they call this a Peter Pepper. Hopefully you do, and there's a mature enough audience to handle this conversation. But it's called a Peter Pepper because it looks like a male's phallus or penis. It actually goes by the name of, it also goes by the name of penis pepper. It's also known as that. But we prefer to use Peter Pepper because it's a little bit more appropriate and um, it's just a little bit more friendly to people who come to visit the website and stuff. But it is known as a penis pepper and that's mainly because the very end here, it can form a shape that looks almost identical to a male's phallic. So it is possible that these can get like that. And I've had some years where they really get funky. But I do got about maybe 20 or 30 pods in there. I didn't go through every one of them. But as they ripen, I'll do individual shots of them. And I'll try to get the ones that look most like it. And I'll try to post those on the uh, website or maybe my YouTube channel somewhere. All right. But that's the Peter Pepper. This is quite a hot pepper. Let's uh, turn you around and... Um, Give it a go. All right, guys, we're doing another pod review today on this nasty little thing, and this is called the Peter Pepper. It's also known as the Penis Pepper. Again, I didn't name this, but that's what it's normally named as. And here's a better look at it. You can see it kind of looks like a phallic, if you will. And uh, that's what it's supposed to be. That's what they called it, so... I'm just relaying it as it is. So this is a hot pepper. Normally, these are very, very hot, and they have a stinging type of heat from what I remember. The yellow ones were very, very hot. I really didn't enjoy uh, the heat on those because it's a striking and direct type of burn heat. Now, I'm just checking for any spider webs or anything in there. A lot of folds in there. Some nasty folds in there. I'm probably not going to bite the whole end off. But we will take a bite off the top part over here and uh, try to describe that flavor for you. So without any further ado, let's give it a go. Very fruity. Skins were a little bit thick on that one, but this is the first pepper that it's actually coming ripe out of, out of probably about 30 or 40 that are on that plant. So maybe the first ones are a little bit weird, but after all the rest ripen, the flavors should be, you know, a little bit more stable. I don't think this one's fully uh, stable yet, but it's got a nice peachy type fruity flavor to it. And there is heat on it, but it's not relatively pretty high right now. I'm going to work my way up the... <laughs> I'm going to work my way up the pepper and try to get some more of the... Uh, higher end heat off the upper part of the pepper. So let's keep going up. Okay, so there is a little sweetness on it, but there's more tanginess than sweetness. So if I was to go with the tangy sweet numbers, I would say the sweetness probably was gonna, around uh, 25 to 30 on the sweetness part. It's hard to really grab that, but the tangy part of it, that was probably around 35 so it was a little higher on the tangy part but not that much higher the flavor of it had a little bit of a um almost like a bacadam but not really bacadam flavor but almost it was kind of like that type of 
fruitiness. It wasn't a fruity like a habanero type thing. It it kind of got its own fruity type of flavor. It doesn't taste appley. It doesn't taste like bell pepper. It doesn't taste anything like habanero, but it has a type of floral or fruity type of flavor. Very nice, actually, to be honest with you. Now the heat is picking up a little bit. We're going to keep going up. So far, the heat, if I was to put a number on the heat on this so far, I'm not going to put the heat on this thing right now with this particular variety of pepper any further than about between six and 8,000. I wouldn't go any hotter than that. It's more of a warm, glowing type of a burn, very similar to a picatum. I don't think this is a picatum. I, I don't know. I have to check that. I'm pretty sure it's a Chansey. But it could be a Bacadam. It's got a lot of attributes that are very similar to a Bacadam. But the the heat on it's relatively medium type of heat. Between 6 and 8 and that's kind of pushing it. But these can get a lot hotter than that. I've had Peter Peppers that were absolutely scalding this year. They're not really that bad. It's pretty doable. This is very manageable. But it is a consistent heat. It's more of a warm type of a heat. It's affecting all the whole front end of my mouth. My lips, the tip of my tongue, around the gums, at the outside of my lips, everything. It's kind of got it all the way around, but not hot. It's not stinging or anything. It's just warm. Very warm. It's actually quite nice. It's not like the yellow. The yellow ones are very, very hot, and they are stinging, and this one's not. This one's kind of mild. This is actually a more mild version of that pepper. Now, can I say that for every single pepper? I don't know. I, I honestly can't say that because I don't eat that much of these for me to say, oh, you know, I've had years where it was, you know, 40,000 on Scovilles. Though I think some websites actually say that this is up there in that heat range, you know, 10, 20, 30,000. This particular one's not very hot. Could be that the plant just didn't stress at all this year. It grew perfectly. It was like environmentally everything was met for it. So it's not stressed. Could be that or I don't know. Well, as I know is what I'm telling you in this video. So, But anyway, it's a delicious pepper. Not much more else to say about it. I do have seeds available on my website for it, for the yellow. And I believe the orange. And I think next year we're going to be growing a red, hopefully. I tried to buy seed for that two or three times. And I've never had any luck getting any of the seed to sprout for the red version. So, eventually I will get around to doing the red one. Not sure if I'm going to do it next year or not. I, I, I might have seed for it. Or, or I'm not sure. So if I do, we'll give it a go. If not, then you have to wait until I can find a source to get seed for the red version of the Peter Pepper, or penis pepper, if you will. So that's it. That's your review for the Orange Peter. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.